Hi, my name is Ilma and today I'd like to share John 13, 1 to 11. Now before the feast of the Passover, Jesus, knowing that his hour had come, that he would depart out of this world to the Father, having loved his own who were in the world, he loved them to the end. During supper, the devil, having already put into the heart of Judas Iscariot, the son of Simon, to betray him. Jesus, knowing that the Father had given all things into his hands, and that he had come forth from God and was going back to God, got up from supper and laid aside his garments, and taking a towel, he girded himself. Then he poured water into the basin and began to wash the disciples' feet and to wipe them with the towel with which he was girded. So he came to Simon Peter. He said to him, Lord, do you wash my feet? Jesus answered and said to him, What I do you do not realize now, but you will understand hereafter. Peter said to him, Never shall you wash my feet. Jesus answered him, If I do not wash you, you have no part with me. Simon Peter said to him, Lord, then wash not only my feet, but also my hands and my head. Jesus said to him, He who has bathed needs only to wash his feet, but is completely clean, and you are clean, but not all of you. For he knew the one who was betraying him. For this reason he said, Not all of you are clean. John 13, 1-11. Here's my devotion out. Washing his disciples' feet. This gospel account of John on Jesus' washing the feet of his disciples is an amazing picture of humility at its best. At the beginning of this chapter, once again, Jesus manifests his deity and his great capacity to love. He knows everything and sees all things. He knows that the hour has come for him to leave this world and he reunited with his father. He is aware that Judas Iscariot was already manipulated by the devil to do this plot to sell Jesus so he can have more money. So at the Last Supper with his disciples, he wanted to note, uh, <clears throat> to, he wanted to role model to them what a true disciple is. So he poured water into a basin and began to wash each of their feet. In those times, people cleaned themselves up, especially their feet, because they didn't have any form of transportation, but they used their feet to walk all day to places. Naturally, they would usually be dirty. Among the twelve disciples, no one took the initiative to do the washing of the feet of each other. It was the most menial task that someone can do, a lowly act. So Jesus took the initiative to do it. He wanted to teach them that being a follower of him meant being a servant to one another. It is interesting that Peter didn't want Jesus to do it because he couldn't fathom why the master would serve the servants. What a humble way to lead others. Reflection. How is the idea of leadership very different in God's economy from the world's? Well, in God's economy, leadership means serving, serving others. It's not being in power. It's not being uh, the one to tell things to everyone. It is actually telling people, uh, it's actually serving people so that they can, um, they can do that act of humility. So it's very different from the world. So <clears throat> power control is not in God's economy, but it is in the world. So I encourage you to be a servant leader if you're a leader, or be humble enough to serve others, and don't make it about you. Make it about others. Thanks for watching. I hope you check my website at ilmaars.com for artworks and photographs. Have a blessed day. God loves you. And I hope you subscribe to my channel and YouTube so I can make more videos for you. God loves you.